Using the Fill command, you can fill the selected entities on the design screen with a solid color, gradient blend of colors, a hatching pattern, or an image. You can also apply a render setting to apply a textured background, giving the entities a more hand-painted look. Objects or entities that may be filled include lines, curves, arcs, and circles. Lines and curves must be made up of three or more points to fill. Entities do not have to be closed for the fill command to function properly. An imaginary line will connect the first and last point set when creating the entity. The fill color, or pattern, will appear on the same layer as the selected entity to fill. For example, the line, curve, arc, and circle above this design are drawn on layer 0. Using the layer manager, I'll create a new layer called Pool Water. I'll make this the current drawing layer and use the line command to outline the swimming pool. I'm pressing the right mouse button to snap onto existing endpoints of the lines used to draw the swimming pool. Now, select one or more lines, curves, arcs, or circles on the design screen to fill. You can select more than one entity by holding down the shift key while clicking on the entities with the mouse. Start the fill command from the view menu or by clicking on the toolbar. Select a fill pattern from the fill type icons by clicking on a selection one time with the left mouse button. You can choose not to assign any pattern to the fill material, or you can choose a solid color, a blend of colors, or a hatching pattern. To assign a color to the fill material, click on the color button. You may click on a predefined color of your choice, click somewhere inside the color box, or move the slider bar to select the color assignment. You may also enter the red, green, and blue values in the associated text boxes. Once you have determined the color, click on the OK button to accept the color assignment. If a gradient blend or a hatching pattern is selected, select two colors to create the blend, background color, or foreground color. Adjust the opacity of the fill colors if necessary. Move the slider bar, click on the up and down arrows, or type a value in the text box and press the Enter key to adjust the fill opacity or transparency. If Radial Gradient is selected as the fill pattern, adjust the center for the gradient by clicking inside of the gradient center. Press and hold down the left mouse button and drag the red plus sign to a new location. Release the left mouse button to reposition the center of the radial fill. If Hatch is the chosen fill type, Click on the drop-down arrow to the right of the pattern label to view the available symbol choices. Click one time on the pattern to fill the selected entity. Enter the angle for the hatching pattern in the angle text box. Enter the scale of the pattern in the scale text box. In the fill render settings, select a render setting from the type drop-down menu. Render settings apply a textured background to make areas look more hand-painted or colored. Adjust the settings as necessary. Use the render effects for special areas of attention. These effects will slow down the program and the printing process. If you have outlined an area such as a driveway and do not want the line you created to appear, click on the Hide Fill Border checkbox until a mark appears in the box. Click on the Apply Fill to Selection button to fill the entities. Click on the X in the top right corner of the dialog box to exit the command. If I turn off Layer 0 in the Layer Manager, notice the entities and fill patterns drawn on this layer become invisible. The fill for the swimming pool is still visible because the line we filled on the pool was drawn on the pool water layer. You can speed up the design process by temporarily turning the render effects or fill patterns off in the layer manager. One more trick concerning fills. Once you've filled an entity, the fill pattern may appear on top of other entities. For example, the pool water is on top of the lines and text created when drawing the swimming pool. 
you can select the fill material and use the edit, draw order, move to back command to move the fill material behind the lines and text.